but what the fuck do I measure myself with, dude? <laughs> Fucking vernier calipers. <laughs> I turned 30 recently, yeah, and I'm married now. Yeah, but before I was not. That's how marriage works. <laughs> That's why my mom was like getting really worried about me, right? She was getting very anxious. She was going up to my dad and she was like, Oh, no, 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 we need to get her married ASAP. We need to get her married ASAP. My dad was like, relax, there's feminism now. My mom was like, no, you don't understand. You don't have the hormones. <laughs> Apparently, sexual drive of a woman increases as soon as she hits 30. And your mom is the only one who knows that shit. <laughs> That's why she's so worried. I feel like my mom thinks as soon as I hit 30, my hormones will get converted into hormones. <laughs> <laughs> like till 30, I'm jerking off to Captain America. As soon as I hit 30, I'm like, choke me, dad. <laughs> I was like, mom, relax. Why do you think I'm moving to Bombay? <laughs> There's not that many good looking guys in Bangalore, dude. They're not. In Bombay, there are so many failed actors. <laughs> You're like good looking, insecure, and delusional. <laughs> I can keep you. <laughs> I moved back to Bangalore. <laughs> so I'm not delusional. Uh, the only sex education I got growing up from my mom was uh, she had the talk with me and she came to me and she told me, Ramya, in life, no. Don't do anything that you will regret in the future. That's it. That was the talk. <laughs> and that's such a broad advice, right? That's like a life advice, right? Yeah. And in engineering, while I was skipping the chapter before the exam, I was like, is this something mom was talking about? Am I going to regret this in the future? When I was doing comics, then I was like, is this something mom was talking about? <laughs> Am I going to regret this in the future? But the only time that advice is supposed to work, it doesn't. Because who thinks about your parents while making out, right? <laughs> that's, that's weird. But I've also realized that in our country, right, growing up, right, we're not supposed to address ours or anybody else's genitalia, right? It's a very hush hush topic. Like they tell you all the body parts still here and then it just... <laughs> It's like a YouTube ad that they skip. <laughs> it's a very confusing entangled earphone situation. Black earphones if you're Indian. <laughs> but then I've noticed that as soon as you start having sex, right? You're supposed to compliment that shit. <laughs> you know how bipolar this sounds, right? It's like asking a 10th fail to clear IIT, dude. <laughs> How am I supposed to compliment someone the first time I have sex with them? I don't know the industry standards. <laughs> it's not going to be authentic, right? It's not. But then I've noticed that everyone knows what to compliment a guy. <laughs> it's common knowledge. You just have to be like, hey man, your thing is big. <laughs> He'll be like, thank you for noticing. <laughs> But the only compliment women get for our genitalia is, hey, you're tight. <laughs> I'm like, are you indirectly complimenting yourself right now? Because tightness is relative, right? It's different by different people. I don't want a V compliment. I want a me compliment. This is not working out. That's why I'm very skeptical, dude. I'm very skeptical. But if you guys are skeptical, you guys can measure it. <laughs> with the scale so easy when it is long when it is short percentage increase <laughs> but what the fuck do I measure myself with dude <laughs> fucking vernier calipers <laughs> point zero zero one point one what the fuck is the correction factor where's my physics record from 9th standard out. That's why I feel like ladies demand your own compliments. It's 2022. Demand your own compliments. It can be anything, okay? It can be anything. You can be like, oh my god, the stretch marks on your butt makes you look like a ferocious tiger. Thank you for noticing. Or like, oh my god, the color of your vagina reminds me of my favorite chewing gum in childhood. Big bubble.
I was kind of kind of dating this guy, right? I say kind of kind of because it was not defined. Because I said whatever you want. <laughs> Saying whatever you want in a relationship is like stabbing yourself in the back. You're like, "Ed, you brute, no me only." Okay. And it was going well, okay? It was going well. He was sending me good morning, good night texts and all. I was like, "Oh my god, just like my dad." <laughs> Marriage material. <laughs> And after a while, he had to go out of the country for work. So he called me from the airport. Hey, ma'am, I'm so excited. My flight is taking off. And I'm like, I'm also excited. Our relationship is taking off. <laughs> and he said, I'll text you when I land, right? I was like, cool. And then I didn't hear from him. So I thought he died. Because <laughs> what kind of a psycho <laughs> calls you while taking off and doesn't inform you of landing? <laughs> Three months later, I get a text from him. He said, "Hey, I just landed." <laughs> Logically, it made sense. Emotionally, it didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Right? Like he said, "Hey, do you want to catch up?" Right? And I was like, "Man, the audacity of this guy to not even make a fake excuse." He could have just been like, "Lol, was stuck in traffic, so couldn't text you." Still okay, okay. Oh, what the fuck? No excuse at all. Didn't we want to meet or what? I was so pissed, dude. I was so pissed. So I texted back when and where. <laughs> Because he was tall. Tall, okay. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Brain doesn't work. Tall guys block the antenna. <laughs> So when we met, right off the bat, he went, "Hey Ramya, I want to be honest with you. While I was in London, right, I slept with my ex. Kind of, kind of cheated on me. Kind of, kind of. Where he did this thing that all men do, where they do a shitty thing, and they tell you in all honesty about the shitty thing that they did, and expect you to reward them for the honesty, <laughs> irrespective of the shitty thing they've done." Like what did he expect? Oh my God! I can't believe what are the chances? Was she tied high? Like, <laughs> and I wanted to know why he kind of kind of cheated on me. <laughs> to tell you guys, <laughs> not for me. To tell you guys. So I was like, hey man, why? And he said because I wanted to know if I still had any feelings for her. Oh. <laughs> Is your dick a litmus test, motherfucker? <laughs> you put it in, it comes out blue. Oh my god, I still have feelings for her. You put it in, it comes out red. Oh, she's still on her period. <laughs> Thank you guys. That's been my time. You guys have been lovely. Thank you guys for watching the entire video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to my channel for a stand-up video every now and then. Also follow me on Instagram so that I can sell you stuff that you do not need. Bye.